always great to be with my friend, my colleague, uh, Dmitry Kuleva, uh, but especially good here at, uh, to be here at NATO and uh, sitting around uh, the table together uh, and uh, making sure and making clear, as we heard from every single country around the NATO table, our uh, enduring commitment to Ukraine, uh, to making sure that Ukraine has what it needs to defend itself against Russian aggression, to continue to take back territory seized from it by Russia, as well as to build a strong country um, that stands strongly on its own feet, militarily, uh, economically, democratically. Uh, all of that was very, very clear uh, around the NATO table over the last two days, including with the foreign minister uh, today. Um, and the relationship, the partnership between NATO and Ukraine is also vitally important. Uh, we reaffirmed the commitments made at Vilnius that Ukraine will become a member of NATO when allies agree and conditions are met. Uh, but we also focused intensely on the practical work that uh, is being done and will continue to be done as we head to the Washington summit next year on uh, continuing to strengthen Ukraine's capacity. And uh, when I was walking out of the meeting, I can uh, clear, I wish I could uh, tell journalists what I heard in the room, mm -hmm. but since our meetings are confidential, we will keep it with ourselves. But if I am to sum up this the meeting that we had today, there was uh, a clear no to fatigue mm -hmm. and a clear yes to continued and increased support to Ukraine. And it's striking to see this spirit and of unity mm -hmm. in the room on this on these two issues. Thanks everyone. Come on in.